today we will learn about the refs concept what is a refs concept in the ujs for example let's say that i will take one scenario example i am having one div i will be having one input type is equal to text same thing same example just simple thing example i will take it and here i will have a button add message or something like this okay at the bottom i need to show the message so that is nothing but a text message i want to show it so this is the thing i want to show it. so here is the input type text so if you try to see the output here if you see the output you are able to see it i am this is the input box we are having when i click on this add message button okay when i click on this button whatever the content i am writing here i need to show it down so these are all things we already know so one scenario is what you will try to do so here i need to click on this item when we click on this button we need to show this text message so here in the view main.js right from first numbers we have a data and this data will return an object those are nothing but data properties and i can have a text message property so which is by default empty okay so this one this input value so whatever the text input whatever the value we are entering into the input box we need to catch that value when this button is clicked so now what i am trying to do here so here at the right click okay at the right click on add message or something like this on button click on our and add message click or something like this i can use a method and now data here i can have a methods on add message click so i need to do some logic in such a way that this dot text message is equal to input value i need to get that input text box value so here i need to get this input value in order to get this input value what is the concept we have learned according to the concepts what are the concepts of to know we have learned we know that i will add a text here one variable one property and here i will use vi for model or otherwise we can use a nothing but an input property like that we can use it so vi for model text now here when i am trying to enter this all add message so now it will try to show you this output here i need to use this dot text this is the scenario which we have learned it up to now. so when i am trying to add a message here click so i am able to show it fine we know that this vi for model is is a combination of attribute binding and also the event handler that is nothing but input is equal to set text okay we will use dollar event and here input set text means so here i will be using set text I got an event so i need to do this dot text is equal to event dot target dot value this is the thing which we will be doing so vfn model means internally it will do these all things and also the attribute value also it will do attribute binding that is nothing but text so this is the full form so instead of implementing these all things we have used the vfn model now if you try to see here now when i click then also it is working fine but the problem here is not the problem so here if you try to see not the problem i will try to tell you so whenever i am trying to change the text value okay i am executing this method so here i will try to show you setting text okay we are trying to execute this method now if i try to execute here so here we are executing one method so whatever may be the method how much logic it is having so that is not important we are doing some extra functionality that is nothing but whenever a user is doing a keystroke so he is doing a keystroke means so whenever he is pressing a button in the keyboard so we are doing certain actions which is not needed actually in our scenario which is not needed why because so here the user is ent entering the value we are not doing anything with that value the logic and all the things when we when we do the actual logic when we click on this button then i need to capture the whole input value i need to show it down 
so that means i there is no need for me when the user is entering the value so there is no need for me to do any actions when the user is entering the value when the user clicks on the button only i need to capture the whole value and i need to show it down so this will result in a performance boosting so a little bit of performance tuning we can do it so here we are doing in a such a way that for every keystroke we are taking a value we are trying to store it in another variable and we are saving in an, we are trying to do it in an another variable so we are doing some logic some extra logic we are trying to do it when we click on the button only i need to get the whole value then afterwards i can set it into the text message this will be somewhat better so in order to perform this one what i need to do so i can remove these all the things so i can get this dollar event okay so if i try to use this same dollar event here okay so here if i try to use this same dollar event what i will try to get here event means i will get this this button value this button element i will get this button event so i cannot target this button element why because i am clicking on this button i cannot target this element so in order to get this element <coughs> in the Vue.js, so we have a special attribute that is nothing but ref. Okay, ref is equal to, I can say that name or something like that, name, text, element or anything. So we are having a ref here. Now on add message click. So I can do what I will try to do here. I can remove this set text. There is no need for us an intermediate variable. And here I can say that there is no need for event also. So now here we are having a ref. We have added a ref to a particular element. Now when the button is clicked, so here we have a special property console.log. This dot dollar refs. Okay. So it will give you all the reference elements, whatever the reference elements that we have added here. So if you try to see, I am trying to add some text here. We are not doing anything. When I click on the button, we are able to get one element name text that is nothing but an input so let's try to take this name text this dot dollar reference dot name text i am using name text this is nothing but the name is nothing but this value okay this value now if i try to show you i am trying to enter this value if i click here see we are able to capture the native element so javascript in how we have captured the javascript right document dot get element by id how we have captured it we are able to capture the dom element raw dom element we are able to capture this input element now in order to get this way after capturing this value sorry dom element what i can do here dot value i can use dot value now what you are having so here i can take and if i click here see i am able to get the value no, I am not doing anything. So when the user is stroke, when your user is typing something or anything in the keyboard, I am not doing any actions, any logics, any variable assigning the data, nothing. I am not doing anything. When the button is clicked, I am capturing this input element. How you will capture document dot get element by ID in Vue.js concept? I have captured using the reference thing, and I am taking same in the same scenario. So how you you got a raw DOM element? So whatever the uh, things uh, we'll be using, right? Ja JavaScript the DOM element methods. Those all methods we can use it. So now here I can take this one and I can directly assign to this one. Okay. So now if I try to enter this value, if I click here, the same action we are able to perform it. But this time we have captured it through the DOM element. So through the DOM element. So tomorrow when you want to do it, for example, uh, input type is equal to text, right? So let's apply a ID, name text, okay? I'm trying to apply. In JavaScript, you can do something like console.log document dot get element, get element by ID of name text ID, yeah. So we'll try to do this console.log and here i am entering something so we got the same input type element and the same thing if you want to capture this one we can also use that this dot dollar refs why because we have applied this ref concept so here i can use this dot dollar refs dot name text the same thing so this document dot get element by id whatever the value it is returning and this one whatever the value is returning is one and the same so now if you try to see See, these both are one and the same. Now, if you want to apply something like, um, I don't know, this style dot, 
see what you will try to do style dot background color or otherwise border color something we'll try to apply right border color equal to red let's try to see i'm able to apply this red color right for the same thing if i want to use the same thing i can also use use it for this one also so same one and the same only both are one in the same only I click here see i'm able to apply the same thing for this one also so this is how actually the reference means so when you want to capture the native raw dom element in the vue.js means you can use the refs concept instead of using this document dot get element by id these are all the concepts instead of using you can use the refs concept so this is the one thing which i want to tell you